The Blanton Museum has a variety of exhibits for the community to check out this month. That includes the installment of Black is Beautiful, which will be on display through September 19th. Tierra Newbaum is live on the 40 Acres this morning with more. Morning, Tierra. Good morning, Dave. I'm happy to be on the 40 Acres this morning. I'm joined by Carlotta, and you guys have a lot going on at the Blanton Museum of Art right now. What can people come out and enjoy? Dave mentioned, you know, you guys have the Black is Beautiful exhibit, but a few others on show right now, too. Right. So when you walk into the museum on the first floor, we have our main exhibition gallery, and there you'll find Black is Beautiful. We've got two exhibitions together. Black is Beautiful, which is an exhibition of photography by um, Kwame Brathwaite, and he was an artist and an activist in the um, 60s who popularized the phrase black is beautiful. He started a modeling agency that featured black models with a very natural look. Um, we also have next to that is um, Suzanne Bocanegra Valley, which is an exhibition that is an immersive video installation with eight screens, and it's based on this wardrobe test, um, series of wardrobe tests that Judy Garland did for a film, Valley of the Dolls. And um, the artist Suzanne Bocanegra has eight women who are artists um, and dancers reenacting the wardrobe test. So it's kind of this very interesting um, compilation of these women filmed um, re redoing the, um, the wardrobe test all together. So you walk in there and it's like this chorus and you see these large images and it's really, really fascinating kind of a commentary on women and performance and um, empowerment and that sort of thing. So that's the first floor. A lot to see just yes, right just there, okay, the floor, and then right. you can head upstairs. Right. And then if you go upstairs, there's, um, we've got two galleries up there that rotate the exhibitions. One is the Paper Vault, which is always works on paper, and then we've also got the Contemporary Project. In the Paper Vault right now, we've got an exhibition called Drawn from the collection of Jack Shear, and that is... Um, works on paper that are um, drawings by artists who you might be more familiar with seeing their paintings or their sculptures. There's um, drawings by Picasso, by Andy Warhol, by Alice Neal, by um, Edward Munch. I mean, there's just like a whole range. And they're hung in this really interesting way, and there aren't any labels on there because the, the curator and the, the owner of the collection wanted you to kind of go in there and look at the at the juxtapositions of the art before you, you start looking at the labels. And you can um, access the information. There's a QR code in the gallery, so you can get that information. We also have some laminated um, pieces of paper that tell you who's, you know, which artists they are. So that's really cool to see. And then in our contemporary project gallery, we've got Cedric Huckabee, who's an artist from Fort Worth area, and um, he's got some wonderful portraits that, um, that he has done. They're really um, large size, and you can see the paint really up close. And it includes a, um, a portrait of George Bush, George W. Bush, who um, he was his, actually his art teacher um, for a while. So it's kind of interesting. That, that is yeah. really incredible. So much to yes. see right now. And you guys have some big plans for the future. Carlotta, uh, what kind of renovations are you guys doing for people to enjoy coming in 2022? Right, so I wanted to say that um, we are open um, Wednesday through Sunday, 10 to 5, um, Wednesday through Saturday, and 1 to 5 on Sundays. We're free on Thursdays. Today so people can come. Can come. Today, yeah. And when you come, you'll see some construction fencing up. Um, and what that's all about is we are renovating our grounds because we wanted to make them more visible and more accessible for the community because right now you can kind of drive by and you might miss that there's an incredible art museum right mm -hmm. here in the heart of the city. And so um, what we've done is, is create this open space where there's going to be these large, uh, very beautiful shade structures. There's going to be um, garden areas and a walkway that's all um, landscaped with native plants. And then we've switched the entrances, so you will enter into the, um, the what's now the administrative building, get your tickets, and then go across um, to the gallery building, which we're in right now, or over to Austin by Ellsworth Kelly. Um, and we've actually created these really interesting um, entrance ways that are these U-shaped and in an in inverted U-shape where there'll be a, a little... Um, stairs where you can look out onto this patio, which will have um, two stages, so lots of performance um, space for us to do programming, lots of music events. We're gonna have a new cafe, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so much in the works, so much happening right now. Carlotta, thank you so much for your time this morning. BlantonMuseum.org for more information and uh, an incredible gem right here on the 40 Acres, Dave. Back to you.
All right, Tierra, thank you very much. We'll be right back.